All right, Dr. Lyons, today not much happening uh, as far as in rapid intensification, but we have seen the wind field expand out a little bit. Do we have a chance of dealing with a landfalling Cat 3 by time tomorrow night rolls around? Oh, that's uh, easily the case, uh, Jim. It's already 100 miles per hour. It only has to go up 15 miles per hour, and that could happen just in a few hours. If you look at the circulation, you see that little dark orange spot on the south side. That's an eye wall starting to form in the circulation right now, so that could go up to 115 miles per hour later this evening if they find those winds in there. There it is on a little closer shot right there with the, the eye just to the north of that little half moon feature there. And so we could see a major hurricane uh, later tonight. Here's the projection of how strong we expect it to be at landfall. Right now it's down here at 100. The potential is up to Category 3, and it's not impossible that it could get into the very weak edge of Category 4, but right now we're not expecting that, and the official forecast is in the Category 3 range. Just wanted to point out a couple of things about Houston-Galveston. Down here on Galveston, wind, waves, and water rise are all important here. In the bay, the wind and the water rise are important, and there are a lot of populated areas in here, basically from uh, down here in League City all the way up to Baytown, very populated, and the southeast side of Houston can get uh, surge flooding in it. And of course, in the downtown areas of Houston and off to the west, wind and rainfall is the primary impact from this thing. Let's look at what's gone on so far and what we expect. Coastal flooding threat. It's very high near landfall, greater Houston area over to Lake Charles. So far in Florida, we've seen three plus feet of water rise. It's dropping now. Alabama is four feet maximum, still up. Mississippi, five and a half feet, still rising. Louisiana, 6.9 feet, the water is still rising. Texas, so far only three feet, but it's gonna come up in a hurry starting tomorrow morning. It's already starting to creep up along the coast of Galveston right now. In the meantime, the wave action offshore has been tremendous. It's affecting the oil platforms offshore. We've had some very high waves in the panhandle of, Fo of Florida. That's going to drop overnight. It'll all push toward Texas and the upper Texas coast. The right front quadrant of the circulation could be 25 feet. And then, of course, we have on the coast uh, the wind action and the power outage threat in the greater Houston area. And it could go all the way down to Corpus Christi and all the way over to Lake Charles and all along the coast of Louisiana on some of these uh, lower coastal uh, cities over the next uh, 24 hours. And then, of course, spreading inland. 